Hi everybody, this is Gerdy van Woerd at Dare Greatly Coaching and I wanted to talk to you, I want to talk to you about valuing your strengths. Do you know them and do you value them? And I am was reminded of the fact that so many of us don't value our strengths. Uh, I was, and that happened, that reminder came when I was talking to a client of mine who was just explaining to me how the strengths that he has, that they have, that they considered to be, well, weaknesses really. If they weren't anything that he thought of, they thought of as strengths. They, they were like, well, you know, this is all easy for me. How is this supposed to be a strength? And also, um, they felt rather soft to him. You know, they were soft issues he thought and so why why didn't he have anything that was cooler not not in my words his words and as we delved a little bit deeper into that feeling and into the strengths that he had um, it turned out that all he needed to do was change perspective because I for example actually looked at them uh, the strengths that came out of the test that he did and I'll get to that a little bit later but um, the strengths that came out of the test that he did I would actually consider them strengths they all they are called strengths and they're called strengths not for nothing also those strengths that came out of the test were the very things that his colleagues kept coming to him for when they needed help those were the very things that his employer and his colleagues really valued in him. And he just couldn't see it. So we started exploring what those strengths really are, were, are and, and how he could use them in the change of career that he wanted to make towards being a coach and a mediator. And two of the strengths that came out of there and that he really had trouble with were um, deliberative, a deliberative is when uh, people uh, are really good at, I have to very quickly um, uh, you know, use my cheat note, but deliberative is when people are really good at thinking through solutions or at helping other people think through solutions. So they are really good in a, to have in a team when um, there are others whose strength is to be decisive, for example, and they might decide very quickly to go a certain way and a, a deliberative person would then maybe not be a drag and also not be um, a naysayer, but he would be somebody that would say, okay, have we thought this through properly? A really helpful um, uh, quality in a coach and a mediator. And the other thing that he um, that, that came out of this test was that he is a restorative person. And a restorative person is somebody who's really good at finding solutions to problems. So another one that is a good one to have as a coach and a mediator. And it took a little while for him to, for these things for, uh, to sink in with my client, but when it did, he started to see how he could start using those qualities towards what he wanted to be doing. Now, how did he figure this out? How did, well, first of all, how did he figure out what his strengths were? Because he couldn't really come up with them all by himself. Well, first of all, he started asking his colleagues and friends and family what it was that um, they considered strengths in him. And also, he started paying attention to the things that people came to him for uh, when he needed help. And then uh, he took the Strengths Finders test. There's a book, I forget um, the author, but there's a book that's called Strengths Finders, Strength Finder 2.0. There's also a website, if you go Google it, I'm sure you'll find it. And you can take a test there that will tell you exactly what your strengths are. There are many strengths, but they'll give you the top five, I think, and those are your biggest strengths. And the book explains more about those strengths and how 
you can put them to good use and also how you can put them to good use in um, uh, in teams for example now why am I telling you this I'm telling you this because first of all it's important to know what your strengths are if when you want to make changes to your life and especially when you want to make changes to your career but also because so many of us don't value our own strengths we think of those things that other people consider our strengths as um, nothing because it's something that we do easily you know it's it's it will only take us a minute we'll say when somebody asks us for help and those are the very things that uh, are really really useful and also because sometimes um, people have a hard time when they know their strengths figuring out how it is that they can use them uh, those strengths towards a change in their life towards a change in career and um, sometimes all it needs is to take another look to come at it from a different angle to take another perspective to see how you can use your strengths how you can apply them towards the life you want to be living so that's uh, what I wanted to say also usually I'm very uh, lightly dressed you know I wear white a lot because that's just very easy I don't have to think about what it is I'm going to be wearing and uh, I'm not today because we had a temperature drop last week of 20 degrees Celsius we went from 30 to 10 and my body is still adjusting it's no longer 10 degrees but my body is sort of lagging behind I think so I'm wearing a lot more clothing than I've been doing over the last couple of days in any case I'd love to know what are your strengths? Do you know what your strengths are? Um, try some of the tips out that I just gave you. You know, ask somebody, ask your colleagues, friends, what are your what they consider to be your strengths. Take the Strengths Finder test. Uh, I'll put a link to it in the uh, comment sections below. And also, um, you know, when you have discovered your strengths, learn a bit, a little bit about them if you do, if you haven't already, and. How could you apply those strengths towards the life that you want to be living, towards the career you want to be working in? I'd love to hear. So, looking forward to your comments. And until then, and until next time, as always, go there greatly. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. It would be nice if now my phone would let me finish. And also the train is coming by, you know, that makes a lot of noise. Oh, come on. Well, well.